Hey guys, I want to talk about shooting your gun stock. Now the uh, the gun in question today is the X5, um, but it's not really about the X5. It's it's about this would apply to any gun. I mean, I have been shooting this gun quite a lot. Got a I got a blister on my trigger finger from the like how much I I shot two thousand rounds through this thing yesterday. It that's a lot even for even for old Ben. I f oh the optics staying on that's good. Uh, I talked about recently about the things I don't like about the pistol or like the struggles I'm having uh, training with it and that kind of stuff. And then a lot of guys uh, making comments and I get it. You're trying to help like, hey, you should get this and this trigger. Um, I traded, <laughs> I've read some of your comments here. I'm glad I'm not the only one who like, who feels like this about the trigger. My 320 VTAC is the same way. Jerk. Yeah. Okay. Um, so like, I don't love the feel of the trigger and it's not like the weight of it. It's the properties of it uh, apart from the weight. I just don't like it. Um, and a lot of you guys like, Hey, we're going to like, let's try this or this trigger, this or this shoe, whatever, do this trigger job. And eventually I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to mess around with the gun, but there's big benefits to shooting the gun stock or now, I would I don't want to put a round count on it, like say, oh, shoot it 10,000 rounds before you change anything. Um, I'm not saying that, but with a new like a new platform that you're messing with, I think it it pays dividends to you to shoot it stock for a while and train with it stock uh, just so you can understand the gun really, really well. And then to me, like when I've done that, when I've shot my guns really stock or really close to stock, I mean, you might remember the Staccato XC that I got. I'm just like, I cannot do this recoil spring. I had, I just changed that one. And then after that, like didn't change a thing. Got the staccato P, didn't change a thing. Didn't change the recoil spring, changed nothing. Made no changes to the gun and shot at stock. Even though there's plenty of things I can look at and be like, oh, I could change this. I could get a bigger safety. I could pin this grip safety just for the fuck of it, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of things I could do to make the gun more friendly to me. But I feel like I learn more shooting at stock and kind of dealing with those issues for some period of time. I don't know how long, but some period of time. Uh, and like learning to overcome those things with technique, if possible, or whatever. Uh, because when the time comes to modify the gun, I'm gonna really appreciate and understand the changes that I've made and why. Um, I think guys oftentimes are too quick just to like use, like use the equipment to solve the problem. Oh, there's a problem, change the equipment. And that's like the knee jerk reaction. Um, again, from a like training and learning perspective, I strongly recommend you try shooting the gun stock. Cause then to me, once I do start making changes, I'm gonna understand exactly what I've changed. Um, I'm gonna feel a difference in the shooting and technique, I hopefully. And I'll understand, is this a good change? Is this a positive change from stock or not? The other thing is I can get a really good look at how the gun performs stock. And then there's like kind of no questions about it. For example, I've had three light strikes with this pistol uh, so far um, in, I don't know the round count right now, but it might be, <laughs> I think it's over 4,000 a little bit, maybe more. It's I've, I've been getting on it lately. Um, I've had three light strikes. Now it's nice for me to know that I have changed nothing change nothing. So whatever it is, it's like, it's like a, the stock configuration thing. Now, two of the light strikes were on lead free frangible ammo. So no hate on that. Like I can't hate on that. Um, those primers going to have problems sometimes, even like with other, with other pistols or like very stock pistols. I did have a light strike during rapid fire, um, on blazer, which should pop. And then I looked at it and assessed them like, this is a very light strike. See, like if I just go in there and start monkeying with the trigger, I'm not going to know like where I'm at. Like, did this thing even run stock? Like, again, I get the benefit of the experience of shooting the gun stock to really understand how it's performing, the properties of the trigger when I'm shooting it, you know, like how straight can I shoot the gun? How reliably does the gun run? I get big benefit, I feel, from shooting it stock before I, I fuck around with it a whole bunch. Now, a lot of guys feel differently. They're going to want, they want the outcome. Like, no, I want the performance now. I don't care. Just like this trigger is not right. Give me a different trigger. This springs were like, whatever. I get it. Um, that's one philosophy. But again, 
training wise, I do like working with the stock and I recommend you try it stock at least for a little while. All right. Well, that's it, guys.